Uh, to look at the outcomes of the gold wage negotiations and maybe pick up from that discussion. Chris Bishop, managing editor of Forbes Africa, is with us at the desk. Uh, Chris? Well, I was there yesterday. Um, there's going to be an offer on Monday. I think the uh, Chamber of Mines, the employers will start very low. I mean, I reckon between 6 to 8 percent, maybe. That's time to be corrected on Monday. But I think any higher uh, might um, be a sign of uh, perhaps the employers giving up the ghost. Um, the one thing that was interesting yesterday, David Sapunzi, the uh, head of the National Union of Mine Workers, said that um, basically they weren't afraid of retrenchments. They said retrenchments are going on anyway, even as we speak. There's a retrenchments going on at Doonkop Mine, for instance, and uh, retrenchments, they're not that bothered. So uh, I think unless there's a major move by the employers, we could be looking at uh, a strike. Just. Uh you know, when we see these headlines, you know, from a personal perspective, do you sort of have your socialist hat on or your, or your capitalist hat on? Because, I mean, it, it does strike a little bit of a moral dilemma uh, looking at these things from the outside. That's depressing. I mean, I've been, I've been writing about my name for more than 10 years here, yeah, and um, it is true. I mean, a lot of people in the boardrooms, they do get bonuses even when the times are bad and even when the gold price is struggling, they do get bonuses. And this idea of linking pay to the gold price I mean, I don't think that's going to fly either, because uh, if the gold price goes up and it's been going down for how long yeah. now? And then, and I asked the guys at the time, what happens if it goes the other way and goes down? They said, well, you know, we, retrenchment's got to be the last step, but, you know, we'll have to talk to the workers. So what does that mean? They're going to take a pay cut. Mm -hmm. And the union people, when I talked to them about it, they said, well, as long as everybody in the boardroom takes a pay cut, we don't mind. Yeah. Oh, Chris, thank you so much for coming in. An interesting one that I took away, Joseph Matunjo are saying uh, there that if it, it is the, up to the workers, their prerogative to decide as to whether or not they would break, uh, break that record for the month strike that we saw, five month strike that we saw in the platinum uh, industry. Uh, thank you so much to Chris uh, Bishop, uh, and uh, he was with us uh, telling us about the outcomes of those wage negotiations. Of course, on Monday, we'll be getting further insight. We've